Hello everyone and welcome to Zapecast Cup of the Day. For those of you who don't know how this works, we get 10 minutes to practice a map we have never seen before, after which there will be 2 minute elimination rounds where the slowest players get eliminated. Today's map is made by Shady Nook. Buddy Duddy is a great map name. It looks very pretty, also. Smooth lines. Shady Nook said uh, to be prepared for bobsled, which was clearly a lie. This is actually, so far, a pretty simplistic Cup of the Day map. Let's see what the ending has in store for us. I like this map a lot so far. Hey, ooh, a little jump. I feel like I should be setting up differently for that turn. Yeah, that was correct. Wow, this is really cool map, actually. Let's just see what the ending is. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you could probably jump it. I was thinking inner wall raid, but you could probably just jump to the finish. 43.9 author time. Yeah, Mackie thinking the same thing. Where ice? I am quite happy it is not ice. This should be a map I am good at, which, you know, I haven't finished in the first minute and a half, which is not a great start. But I enjoy these flowy, smooth, full traction maps. This should play to my strengths. Huh. Okay, fair enough, Shady. <laughs> okay, I need to remember to set up for checkpoint four. That was a clean line that was a little bit scary, but uh, if I could do that during elimination rounds, I would be quite happy. Set up for this checkpoint. Ooh, overjumped that. So probably late apex. Don't want to turn in too early. That turn is a lot longer than it seems. Let's just jump to the end. 46-0. I am curious what other people are going to do with that ending, whether they try inner wall riding or going for the jump or just doing it normally. Ouch. Okay, I clipped through the <laughs> road. Is it possible to get airtime at that transition, or can I cut that a lot further to the left? Ah, oh, you can inner hook that. Okay. I'm liking this map less the more inners I am seeing. Okay, that's like, that is a specific landing. So you could inner hook that also. hit the wall on the left side, but we're just gonna keep going. I just need runs right now, because I've spent four minutes doing nothing. Oh man, I would love to get that landing cleanly one of these days. Late Apex. There we go. What happens if I just do, like, uh, that was slightly slower, I think, given my checkpoint split and my speed advantage. Yeah, you can cut that pretty aggressively before you start getting a little hop. That corner's kind of hard to set up coming off of that loop to get then get a straight line into the next corner. Okay, 
136 is a tap of arms up. That was good. That was good. Up a second and plus nine speed. And then I go too far to the side. Okay, so that's the risky part of the risky finish. I don't like that potential wheel hook on turn one. I do really like the rest of this track, though. This is going to be fun. Not as good as my previous run, but still alright. Look how stacked that leaderboard is, also. Even with me thinking this is probably a good track for me, it is still going to be difficult to get top 10. Ah, man. Okay, don't be too far to the inside there. Should probably learn this wheel hook that clearly everybody else is doing. You kind of just no steer through it, so maybe it's consistent? Did see both Lindsay and Round do it on that run. I would trust what they do on most tracks. Oh, that's... I... Hmm, okay. <laughs> I kind of thought there was safety on the right side. I feel like the angle out of that loop is going to be important, which is pretty difficult to set up considering you can't really see where you're going to end up. Oh, no, smoking tires. No, I don't like smoking tires. I am concerned about my inconsistency. I shouldn't be so inconsistent on a track that's this smooth. Aha, like that setup, that was bad. It's not going to lose me too much time or speed, but it does lose me a little bit, and... On a track like this, a little bit is going to matter, and in a lobby like this. That turns a lot scarier knowing that there's no outer edge. And that finish is pretty scary knowing that you can miss it to the right. Wow, so that's only 15th place. Super stacked lobby. That wasn't the greatest run either. But I haven't been consistently having great runs. Who is passing me at that speed? Froggy, okay. Ooh, ooh, a little bit low. That was strange. All right. So it looks like we're pushing the 42s, which makes this on the shorter end of Cup of the Day maps. Uh, which will mean we get a couple more resets, like this one I'm about to take right here to snipe at the very end of warm-ups. I should probably be practicing that inner... So whatever little advantage you get from that is going to matter. Yeah, that was a pretty good line. That was a tiny bit of an inner. Or a very even run. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know what to think about that. It's slower is what I think about that. Cup of the Day is starting. Yeah, we got an update to the Cup of the Day mod. Shout out, Erico, for getting that out. 
So we now have uh, information on the screen instead of just in the chat. As we get into the two minute elimination rounds, good luck, have fun. I'm gonna turn players off. I feel like the text up there could potentially be running into the name of the map. Or maybe that it's just the perfect length that it doesn't go to a second line. Okay, this is a pretty solid run so far. for the jump. Yeah, that was my best run yet. Puts me fifth on the leaderboard, which was very laggy there. 43-1 was the time set by Mackie in the warm-up rounds. So I'm expecting a little bit into the 42s being the top times. Um, but right now, 44-0 is fifth, apparently. So I cannot reset twice coming off of that loop. It's just not enough time. Curious what my speed at this next checkpoint is, because th that checkpoint being mid-turn is... makes it a little misleading. That could have been a better oh. jump, but sub-44. Still fifth place. What happened to everybody else that was in the 43s in warm-ups? I feel like this isn't a track where times are going to be too varied from one run to the next. It's also not a track I'm expecting too many DNFs past the first round in which there are a lot of DNFs. A couple of good players in there too. Just 12 players eliminated, sure. Nice little wheel hook. Another little wheel hook. And I really gotta start paying attention to speeds. 137 is my best there. Okay. A little bit aggressive, perhaps. It's just good at time. I don't think I need to be very fast to get out of this round. A little bit of smoke. How safe do I take the ending? It's still sub-44. Only ninth place this time, so people have woken up after the first round. Still a lot of people without a time at the moment. Wonder how many people are going to be continuously DNFing. It doesn't seem like that risky of a map. Not that I've had the greatest consistency this whole time. I'm surprised to be seeing a lot of uh, DNFs, though. Only four this time, so four eliminations is what we would have normally. So far, just getting a time has been good enough, but uh, wow, and it quickly gets into the 44s as well. People who are finishing are finishing with very similar times. Oops.
I assume the airtime slowed me down. Good run so far, don't crash here. Could have had an earlier apex. Easy jump to the finish, personal best. Point three is pretty consistently the time I'm seeing from the top guys on the leaderboard. Although apparently a 42.9 was put in last round by Mackie. Okay, no wheel hooks, but that felt clean. It's apparently not, according to the split time there. Interesting. I have time to be gained from a tighter apex, like so. Bit of air time. Not sure how much it's going to matter. Uh, a little bit. Okay, I that was on me. <laughs> I was trying things. Let's see who's coming to the finish. 46-3 is already getting pretty quick for the elimination times. Let's see if anybody's going to snipe that. Looks like no. Yeah, so top 10-ish is 43s. My god, this leaderboard is so stacked, though. Probably turn players on to see what other people are doing. I just don't want to get blinded by so many other... Whoa, people around me. Not the best run, clearly. Oh, arms up is not a good decision there. Let's take a time. I don't, I don't know if continuing this run is a good idea. It's so slow. Yeah, that's probably elimination zone. I don't think 45s are making it through right now. It'll be close. Taps the wall. Just need an improvement, not a big improvement. Not that this is much of an improvement. It's okay, this is where the time was lost, because I really messed up that landing. 12 speed! And the jump to the finish. Much more comfortable time. Leaderboard's a little slow updating today. I don't know if that's on my end or because of the new mod. Looks like Ronin doesn't have a time. And won't have a time. The one DNF in 22nd. And yeah, that time, that first time would not have been me through, so... Need some pretty good times already. I should be able to do sub 44s. I'm just not right now. I'm gonna turn players on. I'm in front of everybody. Of course I am. Okay, that was that felt bad, so I'm no longer in front of everybody. Still don't see anybody. That was pretty good, or at least that felt pretty good. One fifty seven's the same speed I've been getting, so one thirty four, but I was higher on the wall. Yeah, I'll be honest, I don't really know where the speed comes from on this map. Ugh. 
Yeah, not a super safe time. There was a lot of people in the low 44s. Or uh, high 44s, rather. So that could be okay, but it'll be close. Resetting again, last second. It's feeling less okay as I'm seeing more times come in. Bad first turn, that could have been so much tighter. I like that. Lindsay goes full wall right there. This is a slow run. Up speed. And I do think there's time to be saved at the end. Not enough, though. Ugh. Or 5-1, is that even an improvement? No, am I okay? I have no idea. Oh! <laughs> Alright. That was tight. Let's turn players off, because I think that was just more distracting. Although I do know that most people are going for inners. Especially the second one, which I think is less risky than I originally thought it would be. This one. <laughs> okay, as I mess it up. Only two eliminations, which is nice on a 14-person round. Nice. Wow, that's so much more speed. No wonder I was struggling. Oh, I am actually overjumping that. Do I have time for a second run? It's close. I shouldn't need it though. That was good. I have found the missing speed. Well, not Mackie's speed, but I found the speed most people are doing on this track. Yeah, you can take that very aggressively. You want to come off of it a little bit. And then you actually over jump that with that much speed. So you could either break top or try to get a little bit of lateral movement. Not sure. The thing is, you don't really want lateral movement there. Hmm. So top 12 is almost all 43s now. It's a good thing I figured that little inner out. Little bit of smoke. I will take it. Should be a... Uh, Point six. Whoa! That's another strategy. I don't think one that people are going to be doing, but that is a strategy. Let's see what my speed is up here. 101, that's fine. Tapping the wall there is not... Oh no, 158. The thing is, I don't have time for two runs, so I'm just gonna try to be a perfectionist for a little while until it becomes necessary that I finish the run. Well, I didn't get the inner, but it's necessary.
didn't get the greatest landing there either. Hmm, I don't feel good about this. It's the other times are not great on the leaderboard right now. Uh, that's tight. Lighters out. They've left the game. And Tritonus has also left the game. Alright, so both of them were done. That's me into the top 10. This is a tricky top 10. Times were a lot slower in that round, which is interesting. All, all top 10 players are so fast at this game, though. Kind of can't believe I've survived this long with how inconsistent my runs have been. Good start, but this inner is clearly the crux of this map. Perfect. Okay, that landing was good. 140 speed, pretty straight on. Air time's not great, but it's not going to matter too much this late into the run. Solid finish to big personal best. Not far off of world record. Only I had consistency. That was interesting. What's the speed? Not terrible. I am actually safe this round, which is a miracle after my first run. That never happens. Okay, and that's the only run I'll be getting. Fortunately, I don't need another one. Everybody in the 43s this time, including Renergy, who just comes in. Owl and Schmorg in the elimination zone. Man, I got the start so good on that run. Like, my splits are just going to be yellow the entire rest of this round. Oh, that was green. I'm gonna turn on players because I'm curious about turn one, which I am evidently not going to see because everyone's gonna spawn in behind me. Energy and Owl were out that time. Yep, everybody's behind me. Got a little bit of a wheel hook. Thing is, if you get the wheel hook, it's harder to cut the next turn as far to the inside. And I feel like getting that turn tighter might be a bigger time save than the wheel hook. Oh, well, that was not amazing. People are passing me. There goes Mackie. I think my line was more speed. Ugh. Solid ending. 43-7 is honestly not safe. That was maybe good. It's really hard to judge on this whole map, really, if what you did was good or not. Missing that inner is not good. Three people DNF right now. That's the line I'm wondering about. I guess we'll find out now because I don't have the time to reset. Yeah, comparable <laughs> to the wheel hook. Not a great exit. Similar run that I had last time. Up a speed, but really messed up that corner. That felt good, but it's probably not a run saver. Nope. And I got the finish really good last time. Got it better, but not, again, not a run saver. Round and Jabwa. Looks like they're out. 
Round going out is a bit of a surprise, although I don't think I've seen him very high on the leaderboard so far. Mackie's still the only person into the 42s, and is uh, quite consistent up there. Foggy Sandals, Lindsay Schmorg are all very fast players. Ninety-nine speed is not good. That landing is not good either. Starting to feel like the people left are a little bit out of my league. That was interesting. That was that was that was very interesting. I will not be able to replicate that. I overjumped. A little bit slow at the end, I think. The rest of this run was very good. Yeah, it's only a point six. I think that's because of the ending. And because I oversped that jump. Mackie and Sandals without a time is interesting. I feel like I expect them to be consistent. Well, oh no, I reset too late. Well, I guess we're watching Mackie. See if Mackie snipes or Schmorg. Both are on rents. Oh, uh, no, that was somebody else going into photo mode. Mackie is fast. Schmorg is... Not sure. I felt like he got a bad bounce there. Yeah, he's pretty slow at the end. I think I'm through. Whew, yes, I am. Into the top five. I don't know how I'm still in this. I was almost eliminated in 19th. And I just keep being almost eliminated. I have the ability to do a point two, as we've seen. I do not have anywhere near the consistency to be able to do that often enough to win this. Only a hundred speed at the top is not ideal. Uh, 161 I'll take. Kinda got kicked off of the wall right a little bit. Bad angle. Might have saved it. That was actually pretty clean. I'm scared of some of these corners also, like I'm gonna clip them. 0.7. Probably not getting me through this round. I mean, just look at the players left. They're so fast. Oh, this is insane. Could have been cleaner off of the wall, right? But this is a very good run. Interesting. That worked out. Uh, that didn't sound good. Um, Sandals left the game? Huh? I don't know what happened. Our host is gone, so this is interesting. Okay, so mild complications with Cup of the Day stuff because our host disconnected. So anyway, that will mean Sandals out in fifth. Froggy, myself, Mackie, and Lindsay going on to the final four. Rounds officially re-begin now. Ignore that, chat. Oh, what a clean start after not playing for a couple minutes. Did I turn players back off? I feel like I should have left them on at this point.
Okay, pretty decent run. Uh, yeah, 0. 0.6. Probably won't get me through. I'm just going to say that was bad, because it felt bad. Two people without times in the top four. Okay, Lindsay has time for another run. It's going to be all about this wall, right, unfortunately. Hmm. I'm just going to hope Lindsay doesn't improve, because this run is definitely not it. Well, Lindsay, it's up to you. Don't do it. Two thousandths of a second right now. I've had the luck so far in this cup, but I think it's about to run out. If I make it through to the podium, this is going to be the luckiest cup of all time. This is a good run from Lindsay, though. I think. No, it's not. I'm still in. <laughs> How is this happening? Or seven, Lindsay. I don't know what's happening. I'm super inconsistent, but everybody else is just inconsistent enough that I'm somehow scraping through every single round. Okay, Froggy Mackie. I blame Sandals. 102. I don't even know you could get 102 at the top of that. Solid start. This is a good run. Thought I was going to fall off the right side there. This is an insane run. How did I do that? Ugh. Holy cow. Dang, that was a personal best in the semi-final round. This is intense. I wish I knew what Froggy was doing. Well, I guess we're going to find out what Froggy's doing. Alright, out! Into the finals! Come on, Mackie. <laughs> Holy sandals didn't crash. Uh, Alright, finals. Mr. Consistency versus Mr. Inconsistency. Got the inner and the inside line. Good start. Not that good. Got that. Good. Dang. This is a good run. Not as good as last time, I think, with that speed. 43-1 again. I'm ahead at the moment. No way, right? Surely Mackie doesn't improve, right? Yeah, this run is probably not an improvement. Mackie says GG! Let's go! 
Who needs skill when you have luck, honestly? <laughs> I should have been out in 18th. I should have been out so many times. Heck, he does improve to a point three. Thank you, Sandals. For disconnecting. <laughs> my god, how did that happen? Well, thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see stats and results, I will post the link in the description of this video. If you want to join Cup of the Day, I will link to the CTR Discord in the description as well, where the Cup of the Days are announced. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.